What's going on, fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm up here at Lost Key Outdoors because they have a nice stock of pompano rigs. So I want to show you guys how to pick these pompano rigs for the water clarity conditions of the day. When I first got started with this thing, it, it was confusing to me. I was basically picking the color because I like the color. I like blue, so I'm going to go with blue. But there is a science to it, so I want to show you guys today. Let's get it out there. All right guys, so you walk into your local bait and tackle, for your vacation, you walk into the, the bait and tackle that's in the area and you walk up on the pompano rigs. You know you wanna do some surf fishing. You're seeing these different colors. You got the white, yellow, pink, orange. These are frisky fins here. You got some salty pompano rigs up here with the orange. There's a blue here. What do I pick, you know? You don't match the color to the color of your truck. That's for sure. So you wanna kind of get a good idea of what the water clarity is for the day that you're fishing. For me personally, if the water clarity was nice and clear, I could see everything swimming. I'm going with this white float or even this white float with the pink highlights. Um, a good rule of thumb is match the hatch. So if the water's clear, go with a clear float, clear bead. If the water's super dirty, you can't see anything in it, it looks like chocolate milk, you're gonna go with a darker float, darker bead. That would be, I would go with super dirty water. I would definitely go with an orange um, or even a dark green. Sometimes you see these with dark greens. I would even go with that. If you have sort of like a mid-range clarity, it's not quite clear, it's not super dirty, these yellows work well, and even back to the pink would work well. With the salties, with a mid, like a kind of uh, mid-range day of water clarity, I might go with this blue and white here also. So that is kind of what you want to be thinking. You want to check the water clarity, if you're at your condo, you're at the beach house, you're on vacation, take a walk out there, look at it. You'll be able to see. Can I see things swimming around? Can I see to the, to the sand through the water? If so, that's pretty clear. So you would stay away from the orange or the dark green colors that, are, that you're going to see a lot of times. If it's super dirty and it looks scary to even put your feet in there, that's when you want to go with these orange these orange floats. You're matching the hatch, meaning you wanna keep the color of your float, your bead, that somewhat match the color of the water. That is a good rule of thumb when surf fishing, so you're just not out here just grabbing whatever and you're fishing orange floats on a beautiful clear day. Your odds of getting a hit are gonna drop. Finally. So now you got a kind of idea of what to look for when you're in the tackle shop and you're needing some rigs. You want to kind of match the hatch, so to speak. I keep a variety, I, I keep multiple orange rigs, multiple, you know, um, white rigs. I keep multiple of all of them, but if it's just kind of a vacation trip and you're running in, maybe you only got two days to fish, check out the water before you go to the, the tackle shop. 
so you'll know what to buy, what's effective. A good rule that I do is when I have rigs that I'm using, they break, um, something, something chews through them or something, I always kind of keep whatever parts I can, floats, beads and stuff. I'll basically bring them home and just kind of break them down. That way I always have like a little arsenal of hooks and beads and stuff. So you can make your own rig and I'm gonna show you how to tie one now. All right, fishing buddies, let's say you need to tie a quick rig in the field. I always keep some 15 pound or 20 pound, sometimes both, leader with me. I use my handle here. I throw that on, pair of scissors, and your trusty Copenhagen can full of spare parts, which when these break throughout my days of fishing, I just throw the hooks, I throw the beads, I throw the swivels in there. So I always got some little spare parts in my tackle bag. And I'm gonna show you how to rig one of these up really quick. So I just bring it, I'm on the beach, I'll tie a swivel on. I'm sorry, I'll tie a clamp on. This is just a double uni I'm doing here. One, two, three, four. Bring it in. Bring it in. Center down. I'll bring out some, bring out some line. This is where it can kind of get tricky, so y'all just follow with me. I'll slide down however far you want. I go about a foot and a half. Make a loop. And then I pull the tag in that's connected to the roll. I'm pulling that, so if I got to give it a little bit more, I can give it a little bit more. Pull it. Give it a little bit more. Get it to where I want it. I'll take my end with the clamp. And I'm just going to drop my hand down through that hole, hole and pull it up about five times. That's three. That's four. That's five. At this point, I got my loop. I'm going to separate the twisty around the middle. It doesn't have to be exact. I run that up through it. And then here, grab with my teeth, the two tag ends, and pull it down. Now I got my drop. Now I can come down here as much as I want, however I want, however long I want my rig. About right here is good for me. Snip it off. Find you a Find you a swivel in your Copenhagen can. Same knot, that double uni, one, two, three, four. All you're doing is wrapping it around. Push it through the hole, back around, through the hole again, cinch it down. Got your drop here. Just gonna pinch that drop together like so. Copenhagen can, whatever color bead, float, whatever you want. Slide that on first. Bring it on back. Your hook, push it through. Now, so you have this open, all you do is wrap it around once and put it through the hook. Cinch it down. Boom, boom. Quick single drop, pompano, whiting, whatever you want on the beach in case you need to match the hatch in the field. All right, fishing buddies, that is gonna do it. I hope that helps. <sighs> what color do I pick? I don't know. Now you know. Go in there, when you're in the tackle shop, 
Look, think about this video. Blaine said dark with dark, murky with murky, clear with clear. If you stick to that, you're gonna have a lot more success catching fish on the beach. You guys are enjoying these videos, please hit me a like, hit me a subscribe, really helps out the rhythm of my channels. Check me out on Facebook, check me out on Instagram. You can find my guided services at perditoblaine.com. If you're coming to the Orange Beach, Alabama area, the Perdido Key, Florida area for the summer, you wanna get on some surf fishing, you wanna get on some kayak fishing, hit me up, I am running guides in the area. Till next time, y'all.